Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this series from Magical Worlds by Johanna Basford where we're colouring these um, fancy flowers. Fancy flowers, a big good name, isn't it? Now we have this one, they're quite strange, wild and wonderful, I think. There we go. So uh, we have these, we have a little moss maybe? I think that could be moss some grass and then our plant. Now we have petals here and leaves here so it's a really interesting looking one. I've decided that I'm going to use some blues for this one because you know I want to try and use some different colours through. Um, hopefully I might find a colour that for everyone eventually, who knows. We're going to start with the indigo blue, nice dark Castle Arts gold pencils by the way. And I'm going to start in here right close to the centre bit and just put in some really dark colour and then gently scumble out like that. I hope you're all well today. I hope everyone's got their copies of Johanna's book by now. I know some people have had to wait up longer than others because their country hasn't had it. Um, but also that some of you have um, might be waiting for Christmas or you know, that would, I don't know, think I could have waited till Christmas. Or um, <laughs> waiting, you know, for till you can afford it or something like that. Yeah. So I feel sorry for anyone who hasn't got one really. Unless of course you weren't keen. <laughs> now, in the centre bit, I'm going to put a tiny bit here, like that. Now my next blue, let me have a little look. Now, are we going to go that route? No, cobalt blue deep. I think I'm going to go next. Um, there it is. This is quite a nice, vibrant blue. Pretty. And we're going to go over all that indigo because this one is quite different. And the indigo will just darken it underneath. And then we can gently taper it off like that. Yeah, I, th I mean, I know some people aren't big fans of Johanna's or they've said this book is a bit too samey. It's all fair. I mean, we're all entitled to our own opinion. I think people who feel really strongly about Johanna will be a little bit upset by that. But we're all different. And I agree that there are some pictures in it that are quite similar to ones we've had before. I don't think we could argue otherwise. But the, for me, that makes it perfect but because the pictures that the the ones that she's picked to do similar pictures of are ones that I really like but obviously that's not going to be the case for everybody so uh, it is a little bit tricky but uh, I've always been a huge fan of Johanna's you know I started with her books if I only had her books I'd be happy I do like other books as well and I have been I've actually been, I've been, uh, I've coloured in three other books today already. So, you know, it's not like I'm just stuck um, sort of wishing I only had hers. That's not quite what I meant. I mean that, you know, if, if I had to choose one, it would be her. But I'm very grateful that I have others as well. Um, hmm... Primary blue, I think, is where I'm going to go at the end here. This one, again, is quite different. So, again, I'm going to go over all of our flower and just put some of that colour over everything. But we are going right down to the tip. I used to only have Johanna's. And uh, I think before I started making videos, I'd already finished a copy of Secret Garden and a copy of Enchanted Forest and I already had a second copy of each and um, it's there are, I finished two copies of Magical Jungle two copies of Johanna's Christmas um, so and I've got second copies of some of her books on the go I've got a second copy of Lost Ocean on the go I've got a second copy of Worlds of Wonder on the go and a second copy of Small Victories. 
but some of her books I wasn't keen enough to get a second copy even though I finished them. So her How to Draw Inky Wonderlands and her 30 Days of Creativity, because of the amount of drawing content in them, they didn't appeal to me as much. And I'm not afraid to say that. I don't, I'm, as much as I love Johanna and what she does, I don't feel like I've got to love everything, you know. It just wasn't for me. So, uh, I don't see that that's a problem. And Rooms of Wonder, I wasn't so smitten with. I can't explain why. I'm going to use the cobalt turquoise to do just the last little bit here. Um, but I haven't bought a second copy. I'm sure if I had one, I would colour it. But cobalt turquoise with Worlds of Wonder. I bought my second copy before I'd even finished my first because I did a pic certain picture in it and I'm just colouring over everything with this. Smush it together, lighten and brighten. And um, I'd done a certain picture and I wanted to do it again. Um, I think I was disappointed in how I'd done it. I can't even remember what picture it was so I ordered a new one before I'd even sort of finish my other one. Small Victories I didn't do that with. I did really like it but I have a lot of books so I was like be very greedy of me to get another copy and then someone asked um, commissioned me to do a um, tutorial from it so I picked one up and did the tutorial and I've done another one or two since so that's fine and I do love Small Victories. It's a lovely book. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I'm not going to fiddle around with it anymore. Um, I'm not so happy with the fact that I've gone out the line so much, but I'm going to pretend that I didn't. I think that's always the best way. Now, our stem slash stalk. I want to do it differently to how I have done others. Um, we've got plenty of colours to choose from. Um, I'm going to start with a phthalo turquoise. Just trying to find it. It's a little bit again on the blue side, but not in the same way as the Terra Verde Deep. Just give it a sharpen. There we go. Now we've got a lot going on with our stem because we've got all these leaves and things. So I'm going to think carefully about where to put this. I think I will put it all the way around the outside of this bit, like that, and then sort of fade it like that. Here, I'm going to do it in the base of the leaves. This is such a lovely page. I mean, you can say, oh, Johanna always draws florals, but I've never seen any like this before that from her. None of these designs. She's really used her imagination to go wild and wacky. And this is what I'm going to expect from her new book. Her next book which I know we've only just got this one. I don't know if it's available to order on Amazon. I must keep my eyes open. Um, not that I order from Amazon. I always order from Waterstones, but they send them out early. I'm going to use the mint green light now. Um, here it is. Mine doesn't... It's rubbed off a little bit. Um... Yeah, she shared the name of her new book. I don't know how many of you saw it. Or partially, she tried to cleverly partially hide the name, but I think a lot of people guessed that it was Wonderful Wildflowers. I think we can all, a lot of us, will enjoy more flowers, World of Flowers. Another book I've got two copies of, I haven't finished yet, my second copy. I'm not sure why that one, why I finished some and not others, but especially as I've done two of Magical Jungle when it isn't really one of my favourites. I think I just happen to have two copies. Maybe that was why. But anyway, so there was our greenery. I've kept it quite simple actually, but we've got this grass to do and we've got this, what I think is moss. I'd like to colour it as moss. Um, I think I'll do the mossy bit first. So I'm going to grab a hooker's green. I want something that's still blue-ish, but not as, not the same as this. So I'm going to use this at the bottom. And then sort of fade it up. This isn't bluish at all. 
Hmm. Misjudged my uh, my uh, chart there, but never mind. We'll go over it with something, and it'll it'll magic itself into something different. Um, what should we go over it with? Hmm. I'm going to try using the chrome green. And if that doesn't quite work, I'll put some mint green on, mint green light on top. You'll see. So here is the chrome green, which as you can see from the end is a bit more bluey. We'll see what happens. So I'm going right over everything because I need to try to change the colour a bit. It also helps it blend together. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some mint green light to help me out a bit but I am going to take this colour all the way to the end but just fading it as I go so that um, we've only got a very light layer like that now mint green mint green is actually paler than mint green light it's very confusing yeah it's just that's why you have a swatch chart because the name is a lie going to go over all of this with the mint green. It's actually going a little bit grey looking but I think that's okay. It sort of matches, you know, I usually like to sort of highlight things especially if I'm thinking moss with a yellow but this isn't going to go so well with the blue I didn't think or at least not with our stem now we've done it. So we've got this grass. Um, is there anything different we can use? Mm. I don't really want to grab a colour we did last time, but we are a little bit limited in our range of... I think I'm just... I mean, when I mean say last time, I mean not in the first video. I think I'm going to use the Viridian. It's quite a good colour, actually. So I'm just going to go up and fade. And then... Probably be it, but I will have a look. You might want to do your tips in a slightly lighter colour. Grass isn't usually this dark. It can be though, I suppose, depending on the type of grass. This might not even be grass. For all we know, it could be something completely different. I feel like I want to darken this centre a bit, and I'm just going to use this. It will tie it in a bit with the grass as well, but just, just a little bit. feel like it needs to look a bit more three-dimensional and if we put a bit of shadow into that middle area it'll help. I might just be being overly fussy. Sorry, not in the middle. There we go. Okay, I think I am finished with that one. These are quite quick, although tomorrow's it's got a fair bit of detail. So I think it will depend plant to plant on, you know, how, how long they take. Um, but we still used um, three, six, nine, about 12 pencils, even though it, I think it's just quite simple. <laughs> so, you know, it'll vary. But uh, that is me for today. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you have a super day. Please do like, subscribe and comment. I don't always remember to say that, but it does help the channel to grow. I really appreciate those of you that do. Okay, thanks again and happy colouring.